Hey yo, Night Owls, my name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to The Sims 4 City Living from Rags to Riches. Oh man, I tried to say that all in one breath and that didn't work out. But today we have Juni uh, <laughs> sleeping in on his decision to do certain things that he wasn't supposed to do, and uh, he actually... What? <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it was the first woohoo for them together, but it wasn't his first woohoo, like... Over, I don't know, whatever. He's a weird kid. So Junie's like super dirty and I don't know if anybody's actually home right now. I don't see anybody here. I guess this is the second floor. Let's see. Is there anybody on the first floor? There's absolutely nobody home. So Junie is here while everybody else is like gone at work or at school. And uh, he's he's being a little bit of a bad boy. And that's, that's not okay. That's not okay, Junie. You're supposed to be out earning money and not being a bad boy. But in the spirit of uh, from rags to riches, we will be going right back to trying to earn as much money as we possibly can with the skills that we have. Junie did get the, hold on, let me get that. He did get level 10 singing and he's getting to the higher guitar skill slowly but surely. He will get there. He's almost at level, uh, he's snoring. He's almost at level 8, so he'll get that shortly. But I think we're going to focus right now on the singing which, there we go. I was just like, where is it? June has so many things in, in, in his inventory. So he can uh, actually continue writing the song, which is what I intend to do today. I want to finish a song I know is going to take quite some time. So I want to get June awake right now. Maybe he can actually have some food here before we leave. Also, I did make something in between episodes that I will... Uh, I'll show you soon. Let's... uh. Hold the phone. What? Eat microwave pastry. No, dude, you can make better food than that. Let's cook, and he can make ramen for $2, but that uses up some of the ingredients that we have, so I don't really want to do that. What I want to do is make... Actually, you know what? I have to click on the fridge. To, wait, I was clicking on the fridge. I was like, I want to make a salad so he won't burn things down. Cause <laughs> burning down a stranger's house, probably not the best impression to make. It will use a tomato, but you know what? Whatever. I give up. Just, just make your single serving of salad there. And then we'll take him home so he can actually get to work. Because I don't I don't see any guitars over here. I just see the karaoke machine. Obviously the little TV and the game station there. There's a, there's a toilet. Yeah, there's no guitar here. This is also a very small apartment despite it having two bedrooms. So that's something I just noticed. Uh, they look to be a little messy. Hmm. Okay, well, Junie, finish up your... Oh, okay, you need a shower. So finish up your cooking. We'll give, we'll get you a shower, and then you'll get to work on your music. How does that sound? No, you're not happy about it, huh? No. I'm sorry, kid, but like what? Yeah, that's you, dude. That's you. Not, that's not the garbage. That's totally you. He's just all green. Oh. He's going to flush and use his sanitize. Okay, well, Junie's going to actually go clean himself up, and then he's going to finish his salad, and we'll head home so he can actually play his guitar. The Humor and Hijinx Festival has just started in town, so actually, instead of playing a guitar, I was going to leave him here until like 8 and then take him out to go to the bar with his dad to, to have some father and son bonding time since he doesn't really know his dad, but that's not going to happen. So we're just going to travel to the Humor and Hijinx Festival, and I guess we'll take dad if he's on this list here, this very, very long list. Let's see. You know what? Let's take mom and dad to make it... Let's start a fight. Yeah, that's going to be totally fun. Let's start fights here. I know that's not really in the spirit of earning money. And we're going to be jokesters. So, like, why would we? We're fighting, dude. We are going to start fights here. And it's going to be amazing. Okay, no, I'm kidding. I'm not going to start fights. I mean, they'll do it if, if they want to. But Junie wants to get everybody together and to love each other. And he's not going to tell Elsa what he did. No, because that was a big no-no. And um, he was a little tipsy. And that's really no excuse to cheat, but that's just, that's how he is. So we are here for the Humor and Hijinks Festival. I actually want to get the rest of the club here. So stay here. Uh, the Pranksters and Jokesters Challenge has begun. Drink from either the dark or light tea to join a side. So I think it's a lot easier for Mr. Funny June. Funny Bunny. No, do not practice that. Do not practice that. Grab some light tea. Join the Jokesters. I mean, we can get everybody to join the Jokesters, but it's just like, eh. Let them do whatever they want to do. Ah, candy's here. Okay, so what do we have to do for this? Light fireworks and the humor and hijinks festival. I mean, the last time June did this, he massively failed. So I don't know if he's actually going to succeed. I mean, the, the firework look, look, looks like it's burnt out a bit. 
Hmm, we should probably get our own then. Let's see, where are the other festival uh, fireworks? Those are not for us to talk. Are for to talk? Oh my gosh, those are not for us to use, are they? Celebrate the jokesters winning. Ah, June has joined the jokesters. Perform comedy interactions to gain points for your team. So we're gonna try to do that, and we're gonna do our best to get points for the jokesters again. And maybe, just maybe, we will succeed at that. What happened to the fireworks over there? Candy, what did you what did you do with them? I guess we're gonna have to buy some fireworks because it doesn't seem like ugh, it doesn't seem like there are already any laid out for us. So let's where's that booth? Aha, it's over here. Let's go over here and haggle before we actually buy anything. Did we get the shirt? Yeah, I think we totally got the shirt. I feel like I was yeah, I'm totally wearing the shirt. Okay. I was like, I'm aware. The jokesters are in the lead by one. Oh, man. Okay, the jokesters aren't in the lead by much, and June is so tired right now. I'm going to get him to use that club interaction in a second, but first I want to buy the fireworks. So, looks like the haggle's not working. That's unfortunate. Okay, so just buy the swag. I know, spending money. But just buy it, June. Let's buy fireworks, and then we'll set them off and complete that part of the aspirations we get to, so we can get to the next level. So let's see, sparklers, you could get a spinner, hmm. Let's just get a mortar, sure. That's really actually really expensive. Do we want to get the Festival Roman Candle? Contain a series of colorful streaks to light, let's, sure, let's get that. It's a lot cheaper, Rush! it might just You're work, I don't know, here. we'll try it. Let's actually find a friend, a club friend to uh, use our interaction with. I don't see anyone though, so Junie's probably gonna have to hold on, on to that. What do you want to do? Chat with Morgan. Who the heck is Morgan? Who is... This girl wearing the... Hold on. Whoa! That's Morgan Fires? Really? She's wearing glasses and everything? Dude, she looks so different from when she was in the run... Oh, she still is in the Renegades. Okay, well, I don't know. Hey, Raj. What's going on, buddy old pal? Oh, rally the troops. And then we're gonna actually, you know, do some pranks on Raj. Um, <coughs> Human Hijinx Festival is the best. I'd love to take you there. Okay, we're, I mean, we are here. So let's do it. We want to watch fireworks. Okay, we'll do that eventually. But, uh, let's just play some more pranks on Raj and whatnot. Do we rally? It looks like we did rally the troops. Okay. So we're gonna prank Raj just a bit. And, uh, where are our fireworks? We're gonna... Place in world and light. And let's see what Junie can do. Ooh, he reached comedy level six. Pranks are in the lead by three. All right, Junie. Oh, we have to light three fireworks total. Please get out of the way, dude. I don't want you, like, burning yourself again. Okay, so that's one of three. We have to do two more, apparently. Ooh, okay. So he watched the fireworks himself, and he was able to get that completed. So we have to go buy another two. So let's do that and let's just joke around with some more people and maybe we can grab this microphone out of this person, Karim Abda Jabbar. And you know what? We're going to do some more Roman candles. They're the cheapest. And then once we finish, aha, I see our group members are over there singing. Okay, okay. I see you guys. Whoa. Okay, Faust, you were kissing someone. Is someone and via your voodoo doll a little creepy but that's okay i mean you're a renegade I, I totally understand that okay place that in the world and light it june and then we'll place this other one somewhere closer to our group so we can actually get them involved in this i mean they're just over there singing and I, that's what our group does i feel like i should create a second group so uh they don't always keep singing i don't know we'll see what happens about that but uh it looks like miko's walking over here i do want to go over there Let's set this other firework somewhere over there, and then we're gonna we're gonna light it so to let them know like what they're missing out. Like, come on, you guys, look, look. <laughs> this is what you're missing out on. Come on, June, put it down on the ground and light it up. Light it up. Ooh, milestone complete. Okay, so what else do we do? We have to donate to a protester, kiss someone at the romance festival, and compete and complete a mural at the art center. Just right back here. The pranksters are in the lead by one. Oh no. Okay, we have to start joking. We have to start joking with more people. As soon as possible. Let's see if we can get Morgan over here joking. So that we can uh, <laughs> stop her from pranking people. Let's uh, impersonate pranksters and uh, be sarcastic about voodoo. And uh, impossible sausage mime. Yeah, go for it, June. Go for it. Let's see if we can uh, topple over the pranksters so that we can actually get in the lead. 
The Jokesters are in the lead by four after June just went all out on Morgan. And I don't actually know where she went. She kind of sort of just w stood up and walked off after all the joking that June was doing. She was just, I, don't, I really don't see her. You know, she was really just not having it. We should probably get June to paint a painting. He keeps doing them at the different festivals. So I think that that would only be proper that he actually does one this time. What is he doing now? He is listening to a joke. Oh, so Raj and Miko are telling jokes. Although, you know, they're not actually drinking from the light tea. So let's get them uh, to get some light tea with us before we actually do the painting. Hear about Micah's career. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who are you talking to? You're talking to Raj, Mika. Oh, and Micah. Micah's over here talking to them. Okay, I see what's going on. Oh, there's Morgan. Okay, I was just like, Morgan totally up and left after we totally slammed her. But that apparently didn't happen. So she's still there trying to be mischievous. And uh, I really hope not succeeding since the jokesters are in the lead for now. We're going to get some more tea and I guess sit at the bar over here, huh? With Salim. Salim's dating Candy, so we're totally okay with him now. We don't have to be any any little bit of hostile that uh, he's going to go after our girls. You know how that is. So, Junie is actually going to enjoy his uh, tea over here. Then he's going to... She's being, like, totally rude over there. She Wait, is that was that a Raj voodoo doll over there? Just jokes are in the lead by one. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's uh, k continue jokering around with Alice Spencer Kim here and ensure that the jokesters win. And the jokesters have won. Uh, and every jokester has received a comedy mic, fireworks, and 500 simoleons, which means we have so much more money to be spending. So as uh, the fireworks go on, Junie will come over here and do a painting. I really hope that he does that. Otherwise, he's just going to sit there and watch the fireworks. Oh, Junie. You're enjoying that victory. You enjoy that victory. You invited your friends over here, and you made it happen. Enjoy those fireworks, kid. Oh, he's actually going to go and do the painting. Okay. Go for it, kid. Let's get him there, scrap the painting, and let's start our own playful painting. So this is the painting that will commemorate this humor and hijinks festival. And yeah, it costs money, but hey, you know what? We get the money, we'll get it back eventually selling our painting. Because apparently people seem to like to buy paintings more than they like to buy snow globes, which... I don't guess. Snuggles are a little bit cheaper. Paintings are like super, super expensive, especially at 300% markup. So I don't know what's wrong with people. But uh, let's just uh, watch the fireworks here as June paints the town. Uh, childish colors, apparently. Good job, June. Good job. You're painting like a five year old. But I'm not surprised. His art skill is that of a foot. So, you know, it's just like. Let's see. It has to be somewhere down here. Oh, he has painting level three. Actually, it's not that much of a foot. Probably like just a, an arm or something. So it's not that bad. He has been painting. I guess, yeah, it's because he's been painting commemorative paintings for every single festival possible. I think not all of them. Well, maybe not. Maybe all of them do have the uh, this thing. I can't remember the name of it right now. But uh, I, I just haven't noticed. I know we've done them for the Human Hijinx Festival and the Romance Festival. I think that's about it, actually. Hmm. We'll have to pay attention to that next time that we get to a different festival. Let's uh, hurry up this painting before everything disappears, June. Come on now. We don't want everything to go away and you're just still painting your... Is that a train? Is that... I think that's supposed to be a train. Oh, man. Oh, this kid. He wants to watch fireworks. That's probably not going to happen, kid. Okay, finish up your painting and then we'll take you home. And get you all rested up, because you're quite tired. So I was thinking that today we can get June a refrigerator and a counter. Simply for the fact that he can make salads and get his skill up. What the heck is that? Oh my gosh, are you coming over again? Penny Pizzazz is always trying to come over here. No, we're going to ignore her. She's always trying to make her way in here in her towel and stuff. No, you know what? If the hot water is out in your place, the hot water is out in my place. And that clearly does not seem to be the case, so stop lying. Anyway, let's get in here and buy our refrigerator. Let's see, we need appliances. Get our fri Ooh, a nice refrigerator. This one is way too expensive. This one's adequate. Chris Bonnick's Budget Deluxe. Uh, Chris Bonnick's Adequate. This one's a used one. Oh... This one doesn't really look like a refrigerator, honestly. It's, it's not even worth getting because it doesn't look like one. I guess we'll get this one. It's okay. It 
I don't know. It doesn't look like what I want it to look like, but it's better than the other one. It kind of sort of looks like my current refrigerator, actually. We'll get the, uh, the black one's the only one that really stands out nicely. So we'll get a fridge. We'll eventually sell it. Oh, man, that, that just took all the money that we made for most of the stuff. And we'll get a counter. Oops. Okay. So we'll get a nice counter. I don't want the cheapy cheap looking counters. 230 is fine. So let's get... Uh, do we want an entirely black kitchen? Because that just looks really a bit much. What color of kitchen do we want? Oh, that's a nice color, but I feel like it won't go... You know what? I'm going to get gray. That'll that'll be fine. He can uh, get the get the salad and greenies from there and chop up the stuff there. And uh, I guess he can wash the dishes there. I, I don't really want to buy anything more. A thousand, having a thousand simoleons baseline sounds pretty good. Now let's get a microphone out and see. Yeah, we can totally put it in here. I don't know what we can really do with it, but hey, you know what? I'll use it if it helps with anything. So let's see. We can practice singing, tell jokes, which I mean, he's actually pretty good at comedy skills. I think he's a he has a seven in comedy because of the festivals. So that's also a thing that he can probably do. He can sing song, write lyrics right from this. So he can, yeah, he can totally do the gravy, the gravy, the groovy jazz ballad, the mournful event, and all that other stuff from the microphone. And uh, well, he can tell. I don't know. That's that's about it. Uh, it's totally useful. I mean, we have the guitar already, so we can write the songs on there. What are you doing? Play song. I, dude, I thought you were going to write your own song. Anyway, let's make a salad right now because June is quite hungry. So let's cook. And we're going to... Ooh, he can actually make some uh, sushi here without any ingredients. But that's pretty expensive. Although that doesn't use any of our tomatoes and fruits, which is what we want to sell. But at the same time... Yeah, you know what? Let's reserve. Let's reserve our foods for, for some... Well, our vegetables and stuff for our own usage rather than trying to sell them since it didn't look like anybody really wanted to buy them in the first place so june's gonna use them up for his food so he can have cheaper food rather than going to the restaurant and always buying something but soon he will go out and hang out with his dad i guess they could go maybe for a spa day or something like that because i don't know what else they could really do they could go to a bar but it's a little early no penny get out oh my gosh we're gonna go yell at her june hurry up with your salad we're gonna go yell at penny because she is always just bothering us let's see mean um yell at so let's just get june to finish up his actually no you know what stop your salad just like in the middle of cooking you're just like hearing this like oh my gosh she's just persistent non-stop knocking on our freaking door and he's gonna yell at her through the door well i mean you know what that's actually something people do oh are you not yelling at her you're too hungry to yell at her just yell at her and then tell her to go away there we go. Good boy, June. Good boy. She's not liking that at all. Yeah, that's what I thought. Stop being annoying. Go away. We're here because we want to be alone. Don't you know? Our friends keep popping up all the time because they have keys. And I just don't want company right now. I want to eat quietly and in peace. Now go resume your salad after you finish uh, telling her to go away. Tell her to go away, June. It's okay. You can do it. Don't be afraid. I was going to go outside into the hallway. But yeah, we already paid our bills. I want to take care of that before anything happened. I didn't want to forget and then suddenly we got evicted or something. I don't know if that's how the game works, but I just did not want to risk it. I didn't... Because uh, what else would we do? Like, would we lose our deposit? What? What? Oh, oh no, he's... Do yep. June has turned into his mom. He's putting his own earwax into his food. Well, that looks really gross. It's a poor quality salad, so he's going to be uncomfortable because of it. Good job, boy. Good job. He seems content with it, although that looks really disgusting. Oh my gosh, I wish I could tell him not to eat that. What is he going to do? No, don't even talk to her. Just don't talk to her. Just finish your salad and let's go out to eat. No, let's not go out to eat. Let's go out to relax with Dad, okay? Okay. Okay, well, so much for that. Elsa has decided that she would just stop over and... Oh, Mom is here too. I wonder who else is going to freaking show up. Jeez, every time I plan to, Every time I have plans to go out with Dad, people just start showing... Well, that's a little awkward, but I mean, I guess, you know, Elsa and June were in bed with each other, so they know kind of sort of what they look like. Uh, June, why are you wearing that outfit? So let's change your outfit back to this one, dude. Stop wearing that costume. That costume is just for busking and you look ridiculous right now in the bathroom as a spaceman is that really what you want i can't understand this kid 
No, no, Penny. Penny, look. Penny, we kicked you out, okay? There, there's a reason why you're not here anymore. We kicked you out. You were taking water from our sink, which could break if you do that. No, we don't want that happening. June is feeling so uncomfortable from the food, bad food. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, no. Oh, no, we should get out of the situation before it gets worse. Oh, my gosh. Miko does not seem happy with the water on the floor. Yeah, no one really is. June wants to make a group meal from having a cooking sale. Okay. June, what are you going to do? Uh, your mom is here and your two girlfriends apparently are here. So what's your call, boy? What's your call? So we have invited dad out on a day to at the gym, actually. So we can actually, you know, get some workout in and not get the, uh, not turn out like Akira. Oh, June, what are you doing? He tips someone. Okay, okay. Well, let's go on the, uh, yeah, let's work out together. Well, I mean, he's already working out, so what else can we do? Let's just uh, work out on the treadmill here. Get a nice workout in with Dad, who's already, uh, are you the trainer? You're not the trainer. Who the heck is a trainer here? Dina? Nope. Who are you? Aha, you're the trainer. Get over here. Uh, ask her to mentor. Maybe she'll come back down. So we're going to just work out here. June is feeling energized from the bracing breezes, a lot trait. The fresh air really makes this a great place to work out. And so there's a trainer come over here to mentor Jim. So maybe he'll get better at exercising or well, I don't know how that works. But so but he'll gain his fitness skill a little bit faster. So she'll help him out with that. His, and his dad is just... I think he's like one of these older people who's always trying to look like super young. That's exactly what he looks like right now. Because he looks like a little bit of a douche, not gonna lie. Yep, okay, that, 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 that was actually pretty good. I, I felt good about that one. June is like being worked to the bone right now. Yeah, boy, you worked that butt out. You worked that booty out, that skinny, skinny booty. I feel like he should be building muscle instead of trying to, you know, trim his waist. So we're probably gonna do that after our first treadmill run here. Let's see. Wow, that's a that's an interesting color. I don't think I've seen that color. We can do an energized workout together there, but what good is the energized workout when there aren't two machines closer together? Is there an upstairs here? Ah, there's a basketball court here. Hmm. So they can play basketball together for sure, but we want to make sure that we get out of here in time to make the karaoke contest. That's 8 p.m. I believe. If I'm not correct, then I'll be there a little bit early. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. So Junie reached fitness level 4, and he can now perform box on the punching bag. He can also do heavy lifting on the workout machine. So let's see who else is here. I feel like I should probably invite the club over here because this place is a little... I don't know. I figured this place would be even more lively than it already is. Like, there would be people upstairs just playing basketball and stuff, but that that's not actually happening. It doesn't look like there's a pool here, unfortunately. I feel like there should be a pool here unless you know everybody in these apartments these surrounding apartments have pools then i guess that would make sense for there not to be a pool at the gym right right so let's actually just uh oh well daddy's already at the machine they keep calling him daddy but you do not call him daddy that just sounds like really really awkward oh oh well that's this explains everything tetsu is actually a gym trainer which explains why he's so built his fitness school is like five thousand. his skill is over 9,000, you guys. It's over 9,000. Okay, let's start the gathering and stay here. Let's make sure that all these crazy kids come over here and start working out. And we'll still hang out with Dad. Let's add him to the group since it seems like that... Wait, you can't modify... Oh, so we can't really add him to the group. So he's just going to be here working out until he decides that he wants to leave. Oh, uh, I guess we should go over there and talk to him instead then. Stop working out, June. we will go over here and talk to Dad. And see what he has to say. Um... Don't do that. Let's uh, let's not discourage him. Share a secret. I thought about you every single day and hoped that you would come back into my life, but you didn't. Yeah, that's that's not really a secret. That's something that you keep. What happened? Oh, Tetsu seems to have peed his pants. Oh man, too bad. So sad for you, but you lose the the the, uh, the karaoke challenge tonight. Anyway, and let's, uh, enthuse about guitar souls, although I don't think Dad is really interested in that. No, he's materialistic, ambitious, and hates children, so he definitely doesn't seem to be very interested in music. So let's ask about his day, and let's see if he can be proud of us, uh, if we can brag about being the curry champion again. 
Let's rave about some favorite singers that we have. And would June be okay with getting an awkward hug? Or giving an awkward hug, really? Let's see. They took pictures together. Did I tell them to do that? I don't think I did. Jay just became good friends with June. Oh, they're getting closer. That's so cute. That's just freaking adorable. Okay. Let's express admiration. I'm really glad you're in my life. You're pretty cool. Oh, June is actually going to go sing in the shower. Okay. Well, we'll let him do that, and then we'll join up with the club at the karaoke bar. Oops, wrong side of the bathroom there. Oh, June, you should have looked at that. June decided to come out here and serenade Miko, of all people. I think Elsa's like, yeah, Elsa's nearby over there. And like when after June finished taking a shower, he came up here and he was just like, well, better serenade Miko, of all things. That's what he wanted to do. Oh man, this kid. I don't. I don't even want to deal with his drama anymore. He's, he's just way too out of line. He's getting a little bit late, so we should probably go somewhere and find an instrument or actually do something. I mean, these people seem to enjoy the busking here, so maybe if he will finish with a serenade, we can change him into his other outfit and get to busking and try to see if we can beat out Brielle Shaw with the tips. But I don't know how well it's going to work because previously June's busking has just not worked at all. So he finished his serenade for Miko. She seems to have liked it. Let's let's see. Yeah, she seems pretty content. Oh. Is that she's just chubby or something else going on here? I don't know what's going on there. Okay, well, can you just, uh, let's uh, busk for tips. And see how well he does. I mean, with Brielle Shaw here and everything, I don't know if he's going to do that well. He's going to... He's just flirting. He is straight up flirting with Miko right now. Please. Please, June. Behave for once, kid. It's a karaoke contest night, and so June is going to go over here and sing Weekender and see if he does any better with that song. We did leave the urn there, but I will be moving it shortly to a very special place. Poor Marcel. I think he was one of the vendors, actually, now that I think about it, that he sold us some food before. So we will be putting that away at a, in a spot that I'll show you soon. Oh my gosh, this song. I love it so much. And June sings it so well. I am so proud of this kid. You guys have no idea. I just, I love what has become of him and how he's just turned into quite a musician, despite being... Musician. Musician. Okay, ahem. <clears throat> I can say this word, I, sp I swear. Musician. I think that's right. Anyway, he's become quite a musical genius, uh, despite having grown up being... I don't know, what do you say this? He was more social than anything else. He wasn't really creative, or he wasn't really, you know, much into the motor or mental skills either. But he did get his social skill all the way up, and... I mean, he's quite charismatic and comedic now, but... Listen to that voice. Yeah, he's good. He's really good. And he's even better at guitar. Well, not really. Okay. Let's be real. He's not as good at guitar, but he's getting there. It seems like our group mates are over here just doing whatever they want. June wants to chat with Lily, so... Ooh, he scored a 90 out of 100 points. As we've learned in the past, that's typically not good enough. I mean, let's brighten Lily's day. We should probably get this out of the way. Let's uh, do it to the back door. Nobody really uses the back door. <laughs> That's just like, this is what I think of you. Anyway, let's talk to Lily because he, ooh, he wants to say goodbye to candy. What, wait, why are you saying goodbye to candy? Ooh, mom's here, so let's talk to Mumsy and let's see, let's bring in her day too. Who else is here? Joaquin is just really bad at this singing thing. It's okay, he's, at least he's good at dancing, you know, maybe he'll get there just like June did. Whoa, we are in a massive conversation right now. Oh, he's feeling very flirty from uh, Sweet Serenade. Oh, from, ser from Serenading Miko. Oh, man. <sighs> Why does it look like Miko's pregnant, though? I'm just I'm just saying, though. Woo! June won the karaoke contest tonight with just a score of 90, even though last time he lost with a score of 99. Remember that? That was terrible. <coughs> Whoa, sorry about that. Oh, I have not been inhaling properly. But anyway, to show you the special location that we have dreamed up here, this is a oh wait, locked door for a club. Everyone but Noted Bangers. No, 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 Bang members. Okay, Noted Banger members. Anyway, this is our little spot in uh, 
in the sky, so to speak. This is the club spot here. Let's uh, turn that on so we can have a little light show there in the back. But this is our gaming room here. I mean, there's the uh, the tablet there, which we can game on. And there's also the gaming console that the group can game on. We should probably add gaming as one of our one of our uh, activities here. And there's also their own karaoke machine here. So, you know, if all of them are taken downstairs, which sometimes they are, they can just go up here and do what it is that they want. And, of course, it's lit up with our beautiful, uh, colorful lights here. And there's some seating if, you, if people want to watch. Then we have a vending machine over here for those who are hungry and don't really want to order any of the snacks from the bartender. We can get a pastry, a premium meal, a sandwich, or a soda. Not bad. And we have a microwave here in case we have to microwave anything. I think we have to microwave the pre-made meal, so that's that makes it uh, easily gettable. And the table over here for eating our meals or whatever. And then over here... We have a bathroom, one with a shower, in case, you know, they have to take a shower from being at the club or at the karaoke bar for way too long. I feel like that doesn't really happen, but you know what? It's it's all for the group. All for the group's hangout. It's their own private hangout. It has their own door right here with the little music note and doesn't have an entrance on here. The entrance is to so the bathroom is right here. Let's get the walls up so you can see that. There we go. And they have windows out here so they could see down to the first floor and see how full it is to gauge whether it's okay to come down and, you know, actually sing downstairs or if they have to stay upstairs in their own private area. Whoa, there's a lot of people here. Looks like Dad is here, too. Who else is here? I mean, there's just so many people here tonight. And, and June still won the contest. That's surprising. Hey, Zest. Zesty boy who can't sing. And Mom... Was not mom coming over here? Oh, she's using the toilet. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, is this more drama? Oh, it seems like mom's talking to the toilet. Never mind. Is she going to come out here and like start yelling at dad? Or, or what's going to go on here? Do you want to know? Check out next... No, I'm kidding. Don't check out next time. There's probably nothing going to happen. June, what are you doing? He's listening to something... Mi oh, Miko's probably singing, so he's listening to her. Oh my gosh, he's super confident right now. From winning the karaoke contest, from being a karaoke legend... From the convival trait of the law. Oh my gosh, so many things. So many things going on with that boy. Why does it seem like Jay is just frozen in time there? That was freaking weird. Anyway, June, come over here and use the toilet. Wait. It seems like June and this particular toilet are friends because it's called Talking John. Um. Sure. Okay, June has a friend called Talking. Does this toilet even show up here? Like, that would be great if it... Who died? All right, that's Marcel. Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace. I felt like uh, I should have, like, included something in his mem memory, but... We're actually gonna have a ghost hanging out here. Oh, right, Mimsy. I was like, oh, someone else died? No, that's Mimsy. The the uh, mansion's ghost. Let's see, who else? I don't see the toilet on here, unfortunately. Oh, Jeffrey Landgrab died. Eh. And Nancy Landgrab also died. Okay, well, it seems like there's a lot of deaths going on here. And I don't see a toilet. Oh, there we go. The Talking John is actually showing up as one of June's friends. Unsurprisingly, because the the Blarfy showed up also as one of June's friends. So I think it's like mother like son, since his mom was also talking to a toilet. What does you want to do? Serenade. Someone's singing very badly. This is actually a little hilarious. Who is it? Dina Caliente. You're slaughtering my favorite song right now. Please don't. Okay. So, uh, um, uh, just keep talking to your toilet over there, apparently. Where, I guess the rest of the group, group members might be upstairs? Oh. Um, Raj, that was something I really did not want to see, buddy. That was just, I didn't want to see that. So let's just, uh, go over here and play some games with our, our friends. Let's play Party Frenzy with our group members here. Let's, uh, Ask, uh, oh, let's avoid Miko for now. Let's ask, I always try to pick four people. Let's actually just ask Raj. So let's ask Akira, Lily, and Raj to play a game with us. Although that's not part of the approved club activities, but it will be soon. I should probably just do it now. Let's see. Choose an action, fun and games, and do, 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 play video games. There we go. So we're going to play video games, although that also means they're probably going to end up playing games on their phone often. Which is annoying. Also, please ignore this light. I tried to cover it up as best as I could, but it, didn't, it just wasn't working at all. So, whatever. Now, I wonder if these people are actually going to sit down in their individual seats and play the game. It looks like they are. So, oh my god, my plan is working. Akira, you fat butt. Sit down. There we go. 
So they're just gonna have some fun playing video games, and then maybe after they're done with this, uh, Junior will wrap up the night and say goodbye to Elsa in public and maybe Miko in private. Hey, Elsa. I, uh, um, let's uh, let's so uh, let's get her over, let's get June back over here, and let's uh, just get an awkward hug from Elsa if she'll hug us. I don't know if she'll hug us. She's always turning down her hugs. Maybe she doesn't like hugs. That's I don't know if that's that's what's going on here. But well, let's uh then give her. Blow a timid kiss, maybe, and maybe actually give her an actual kiss, June? Can you do that? Oh, he reached game level 4 by just talking about it. She seemed to accept the kiss, but not the hug. I don't know what is her problem. Okay, can we actually kiss her, though? Can we kiss her? No, let's see a kiss option here. Ah, uh, unflirty kiss. Okay, give her a kiss, and... What? What is wrong with her? What is it with her in hugging? She's just more interested in yeah. games than she is in June, it seems, right now at least. So, um, yeah, bye then. Let's let's go and find Miko and June can actually say goodbye to her then, because we're gonna we're for sure going to go home. Ah, Miko is over here. So let's just uh describe robot invasion and maybe let's take her too. I would take her outside, but I feel like that's very, very public. So let's take her to this back room over here. Maybe uh say goodbye in private so that oh June, you're inviting her upstairs, aren't you? Where is he? Yeah, he's still there. Just uh, stop talking to Elsa. Go and talk to Miko. Uh, let's uh, let's not lie about career. Let's hear, do, 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 do. ask about day. Get her in a conversation with us and go. Yeah, go over there. Go over there with her. Akira, are you coming with us? Because I didn't ask you to come with us. I mean, unless you want to. <laughs> Just don't tell, okay? Just don't tell. Okay, June, go talk to Miko first before you actually do that. So let's go. Oh, jeez. How about sit and chat here? There we go. That works. Okay. So come over here with Miko so you can say goodbye to her before you leave for the night. I mean, it's already 5 in the morning, so it's not really leave for the night. It's more like leave for the morning. I swear she's pregnant. This is going to be really awkward if she is. Okay. So let's uh, leave her a heartfelt compliment here and uh, tell her that we like her. Let's see. Confess attraction. And then can we blow her a kiss without anybody noticing? Er, did, 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 blow a timid kiss, and then... Oh, where's she going? I guess she's just... Does she not... She doesn't believe us, you guys. She does not believe us. She's just walking away. Welp, that is it for Junie's night. Let's just go home, get him in bed, and call it a, a day rather than, you know, just a night. Or call it a night. I guess that works, too. Oh, June. Look what you've made of yourself. At least we're getting more money from all the different festivals and the karaoke contests because he's gotten pretty good at that, and we're actually almost i think we're like three quarters of the way through our song so he should be done with the song soon and we'll get that shipped out so we can make a, a nice stream of money every single day i mean it's probably not going to make too much money right off the bat but it'll make a good amount i mean 1500 isn't bad especially after we just got a refrigerator and a counter so get to sleep kid just call it a night you know that's yeah, those are two very interesting days. But anyway, that is it for this episode. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I have new Sims 4 City Living from Rags to Riches videos every single day. That's right, folks. Every day. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And have an awesome night.